Good morning. So this medical procedure that's been going on, who will get the blame, you think? Is it the criminals running this show, pushing everybody to do it? Of course not. They are criminals. They will not get the blame. I think it will be the doctors. That's right. I was listening to Justin Trudeau this morning, uh, this jerk, and he was asked this question. Do you regret calling the protesters a fringe minority? Very interesting clip. Uh, he's talking and then there's a long, long pause, then he's talking again. And some might think that this is an apology, but it's not. He said he wishes he had phrased it differently. Things might have been easier, he said. And then he goes on to attacking these people again. Well, he says it's a very small group, but they are basically responsible for people dying. It's not an apology. But it looks like he's pushed, you know, he's sort of forced to say something about it. He can't call them a fringe minority again, at least. And I have to sort of remind myself quite often that these people are criminals. And of course they will not come out and say, oh, we did a mistake. We're so sorry. This was bad. Of course they will not. They will say things like this. There's a great example from the UK. This is the NHS, National Health Service, in the UK. So apparently they stopped the tea program in the UK. That's what I hear. That's what they say. From the 12th of February it was stopped. And I was reading this statement from January. This is from the NHS website. I'll post a link to it. So why are they stopping it? Because it's so harmful. Right? Because people are getting so sick and they are dying and it doesn't work. Right? Of course not. That's, what, that's not what they say. They say no, because it's so very good. That's why. That's why we are ending it now. It's true. They say the NHS is encouraging people to come forward for their next cup before the offer is, is ending. And this was the 12th of February. And they say this is part of the biggest and most successful program in health history. And now it's ending. No more tea for you people. right? Well, some of you might get it later, right? Those who are at the big risk, you can maybe get it. That's what they say. Thanks to the success of the program, we are now ending it. That's what they say. And there was this director, uh, Steve Russell, he said, over the last two years, the NHS program has administered almost 145 million cups of tea and as a result the public have widespread protection. A remarkable achievement, he says. Well, you think they are sort of joking, right? <laughs> They're talking about widespread protection. I don't think they believe this themselves, but they are criminals. They will not say well, we tried this, it didn't protect anyone, it didn't work, and people are getting sick and people are dying. Of course they will not say this. We have to end this. They are criminals. But they know it didn't work. You know? So, eventually, somebody will get blamed for this. And I believe it will, it will be the doctors. Because usually the doctors, they are not criminals. So, of course, they will get the blame, right? And I saw this from Australia. It's amazing. It's from the Australian Medical Society. I don't really understand what this is. I think they are awake. You know? It's like a union thing, maybe. Anyway, so they 
sent out a letter to their members and they said doctors are not covered for damages. Why? Because there was no informed consent. This is the job of the doctor. Right? They should inform the patient about the dangers, about everything, with the thing, you know, with the tea. So that the patient knows what he is taking. Right? And the doctors didn't do this. That was their duty to do it. So they are not protected, they are not covered for damages. And they also said, well, they, should, they couldn't do it, right? Because if the doctor told the patient about the dangers with the tea, they were guilty of medical misinformation, you know? And they would lose uh, their license. But they had to do it. Right. Well, these doctors, they are now in the shit. You see? They just did their job, they thought. And they were told the job was not to inform the patient. But their job was to inform the, chip, the patient, you know? Right. Well, this is typical, you know? This is how bureaucrats work. This is how criminals do it. Now, you have the old bureaucrats, they told you, the doctor, to do it this way. And now we have a new government, maybe, you know. And this government is saying, what you did back there, following orders, was wrong. You know, this is how they do it. No bureaucrat, no politician is ever responsible for this. It will be the people who did it who injected the people with this thing. Well, I think this will happen, and I think it is happening. And there will be an outrage, of course, among the doctors and the nurses, right? We'll see what's going to happen here. I feel we are reaching the end. You know? I don't want to be op too optimistic, but that's how I feel. We are getting into the final stretch, up to the finish line. You know? Just the feeling that I have. Right. Be good.